I hope you guys are all having a productive day. Easy Auto Fix here, and today we're gonna learn symptoms of a bad ignition switch. The purpose of the ignition switch is to send or cut battery voltage to a specific group of components depending on the position your keys are in. Now there are four possible positions. The first one is the lock or off position, which basically means that your battery is going to cut power to most electrical circuits. The second position is going to turn on the accessories in your car such as the radio and the dashboard lights. The third position is to send power to the control modules like the ECM, BCM, TCM and more. The last position will provide power to the starter motor and will also alert the ECM to command fuel and spark to start the combustion process. Or in other words, it will start your car. The ignition switch will be located behind the ignition lock cylinder. The first and most common symptom is a no crank no start. You'll turn your key, but nothing happens. Now this can happen if there's no contact inside the switch to be able to send electrical current from the battery to the starter to get it cranking. In some situations, your vehicle can start for a bit and then die out seconds after. The second symptom is your car turns off while driving. A defective switch can cut power from going into the control modules, leaving your vehicle brainless. Control modules are critical for your car since they monitor sensors and command when to add spark and inject fuel at the perfect time to keep your car running. A quick way to test the ignition switch is to try wiggling the keys back and forth while the car is on in park. If it dies, then it could be the switch. I'll link a video to watch in the description below so you know what I'm talking about. The third symptom is having accessory problems. With the car on, in the park position, you could be experiencing your dash lights turning on and off rapidly. On the flip side, with the car off, on the accessory position, you could be experiencing nothing turning on at all. The fourth symptom is your car won't turn off. You could be pulling up in your parking lot, turning your key to the off position and taking it out only to notice that your car's still on. This isn't very common, but it's definitely possible if the switch is defective. If you're in this situation and want to turn your vehicle off, just unplug the fuel pump fuse. This will prevent your fuel pump from turning on and delivering fuel to your engine. Perfect. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe so I can see you in the next one.